undefeated at home. Tonight, they'll hope to use a little home cooking to get well against the Wildcats. Assembly Hall, Bloomington, Indiana. Tonight, the Northwestern Wildcats visit the 20th ranked Indiana Hoosiers. Hi, everybody. I'm Wayne Larrabee along with John Laskowski. Great to have you with us tonight. But it's not often in the last 20 or 30 years you've been able to say that Northwestern had more conference wins than does Indiana. But that's the case here tonight. And Laz, for Indiana, they're facing probably the best big man they've seen this year in Evan Esmeyer. He's terrific. Six foot 11, 255 pounds, very experienced. There you see his numbers against two Northwestern wins last week, both on the road. They won at Illinois and at Minnesota. He's terrific post moves inside, often sees the two and three players guarding him. So he's learned how to dish that ball back outside for the three point shot. Tough to stop when he gets the ball that low in the box. No question about it. One of the most approved teams in the country led by Eschmeyer is Northwestern. Now, Luke Recker, they're going to have to get more out of this guy tonight to be successful even here at home. Against Ohio State, he got two early fouls, only played 12 minutes of the game. He's Indiana's leader, though, 16 points a game. He's very enthusiastic and gets the team going, both offensively and defensively. All right, Laz, let's take a look at the... Uh, Fueling Factors brought to you by Fast Max Convenience Stores. If it's got to be fast, it's got to be max. Defense is the reason Northwestern's turned this thing around. They only give up 51 points a game. And the freshmen help. Hardy, Newman, and Lepore, they'll be names you'll hear tonight. They have given Eschmeyer the help he's needed inside. For Indiana, rebounding. Not a good Indiana rebounding team. And Northwestern now rebounds its opponents by five. Shooting percentage. The last five games, Indiana shot under 44%. Well, the Indiana Hoosiers trying to get back on the winning track. A.J. Guyton, 27.7 of 16 from the arc at Ohio State. They'll need that kind of production here tonight against a much improved Northwest. No outside, but going to be a comfortable atmosphere in here tonight for this ball game. Kevin O'Neill in his second season at Northwestern, one of the most improved teams in the country. And tonight's starting lineups are brought to you by Sagamore Health Network. Caring, compassionate, and cost-effective. David Newman, the point guard, we spoke of him. He's a big key for this team. When he was on the floor against Illinois on Saturday, Northwestern outscored Illinois by 22 points with his presence on the floor. And as far as Indiana's concerned, A.J. Guyton, he had the uh, big game, broke out of a two-game slump at the big game at Ohio State. They'll need to get Guyton and Wrecker on track at the same time to really return to the form that uh, you're accustomed to seeing Indiana play at. Bob Knight in his 28th season here at Indiana, the winningest active coach in college basketball. Stay tuned, the opening tip coming up next, Indiana Northwestern just ahead. Take on Indiana. I'll tell you what, it has been a season of change. Uh, nine lineup changes over the course of this early campaign last. And only three players have not started in a game this season, and Randall L. may start before it's all over when he gets help. Bob Knight will do that in the course of the year. Looks for that right starting lineup and then goes with it. Indiana has a lot of players this year. Expect them to substitute quite a bit. A lot of guys who can play. And the series history, I want to tell you something, 25-0. Northwestern has never won in this building. But it had been something like, what, 20 years since they had won at Illinois. They bashed that trend <laughs> this past weekend. It's uh, been a long time, 10 years at least since they've won up in Minnesota. They did that last Wednesday night. The players don't really know that stat, though. It's interesting. They just know who they have to guard and what they have to do. That's <laughs> their main concern. And the opening tip, the controlled by the Northwestern Wildcats. Northwestern in the dark, traveling uniforms. Indiana in the uh, crimson and white. And Newman. Knight and Newman. That'll be a great matchup to watch. Eschmeyer down low. The double team came from record that time. And last, it'll be interesting to see where Indiana brings the double team from when they double down on the big guy. Whichever guy is open, Eschmeyer will get the ball to him. He'll have the shot. Gladness gets an open look. Gladness a good shooter from the outside. Left plenty open that time. It's the first shot. Hardy to Eschmeyer. Recker again came down to the double team. Bonner is the open man for three. Well, that's interesting. Last year, Indiana took the close.
closest man and helped off of him. This year, though, they took a man from farther away. Eschmeyer still found him for the three. And a lot of times last year, they would come down with the guy who was guarding the point guard. But now you've got uh, Newman out there, and he's a little bit more to contend with than what they had at that position last year. Sean Wink was really the only player from the outside who could make that shot mm -hmm. consistently. Now you have to keep everybody honest. Now you've got Wink, you've got Newman out there, and even Bonner. Houston connects from the outside with his first from the field. Hey, what, he's been playing well the last couple of games last. And that's what he can do. Six foot ten. He's a finesse type of player. Very good shooter. Bonner, another open look, and he buries his second tray. Well, he averages four points a game. He's got that mess up. Off to a good start now with six. Opening two minutes of play in this first half. A.J. Guyton gets past Wink. Rebound back and hasten the rebound. And puts it right back up. Eschmeyer's there. Yeah, Eschmeyer strong. See him grab that ball. Newman accelerates and again Bonner. Eschmeyer. This ball movement by Northwestern in the early going. This is Hardy, the freshman. You can see the offense really deals around Eschmeyer. Once he gets the ball, that really starts the offense. Wink gets an open look. Three three-point field goals. He's the offense thus far for Northwestern. I think that's exactly what Kevin O'Neill wants. Give it to Eschmeyer, and then let's let something happen. Lewis penetrates just a bit. This is Gladness. Luke Brecker. A double team right there. Haston gets it away from the outside. Can the freshman save it? Yes, he does. Tavares Hardy on the hustle that time. Eschmeyer down low, traveled that time. You see the double team. Indiana will try to do that and force Eschmeyer into turnovers. Expect a real defensive battle. Of course, Northwestern only giving up 51 points a game in Big Ten play. So expect a game in the 50s today. Kevin O'Neill says the one thing about defense is that uh, we, we can take pride in our defense. We sure as all heck can't take pride in our offense, he says. A.J. Guyton sets it up for Indiana. He's going to move the screen. He's still held by Eschmeyer. Lewis had a great game against Northwestern last year. That's why he's in the lineup. Very heavy point guard for Indiana. There's Eschmeyer. That caught Eschmeyer. He stepped out to try to get to Haston, reach with that left hand. And there's the, see, whenever the player pushes his hands back like that, you know he knows he can do it. Guyton penetrates. Tried to hit Gladness. Indiana resets the offense now. Record goes to work. Nice look to Lewis. Well done. Rutgers really become an all-round player there. You saw him with the assist, but he's a great shooter and scorer as well. Foul coming up against the Indiana Hoosiers, and it's going to be on Luke Record. Record, as uh, you pointed out, last early foul trouble at Ohio State. Played just 12 minutes of that game. Watch Indiana now. Record goes up for the shot. Sees Eschmeyer come over, and Lewis makes a nice cut to the hoop. He's left-handed. That was an easy shot. Western leading by three, early going, first half. Hardy. Both these teams have the same philosophy on defense. Shut out the two top scorers for the other team. And in this case, it's Eschmeyer and Wink for Northwestern. But so far, it's happened. Bonner and Hardy have come through. Bonner's hit a pair of trays here in this game. Northwestern leading by five. That's the biggest lead of the evening. A.J. Guyton moves up. He doesn't go one-on-one -on -one a lot, but he felt the opening there and knew Indiana needed some scoring, and he hit the baseline shot. Hardy trying to go down low to Eschmeyer. Eschmeyer broke the other way. A little miscommunication. Northwestern turnover. Four minutes gone by in this, the first half. The Wildcats, the visitors, lead by three. Home cam. Live action cam there. No, and that's a benefit to any visiting team. Assembly Hall, usually 17,000 screaming fans. School is back in session, but several empty seats because of the weather. Indiana basketball, Lewis and Guyton at the guards. Wrecker, along with Gladys, Haston up front. Wrecker is fouled, scored, and a foul. See if he was on the line yet. Three point shot. Three pointer. Julian Bonner picks up a foul his first. Kevin O'Neill right there with some comments. Watch record though. He stepped just behind the line. And there's the foul. So the basket counts. And a chance for a four point play. 
Well, those coaches hate it when you jump at a jump shooter. You know what I mean? When you're playing defense and you leave your feet. And then he misses it and gets three shots. I and mean, that's yeah. the killer right there. That happened to the Hoosiers uh, at Michigan sure at the end of the first half. It's changed Last the tempo week. of that game, really. It really did. Indiana leading by one as we begin to see saw in this first half. That's the defense by Indiana Esmer. One guy behind. Now here comes the help with Hasty. Glad missed the rebound. That time didn't work as Esmer missed the shot. And again, they brought pressure from different spots here tonight against Esmer so far. Record set up Gladness. Esmer blocked out Gladness on the follow. Newman ahead to Wink. Winkton loads for three. Three points out. Quick shots for Northwestern. They like to run the shot clock down under 10, but Wink felt comfortable with that one, and he hit it. Four three point field goals in this game already for Northwestern. Just over five minutes gone by. Record. And also shooting quickly that time a one-on-one -on -one move by record Newman a little stop and go carry the ball Hamade Molnar and Lepore coming to the ball game now for Northwestern here's how you block out watch Eschmeyer held Gladys there went out didn't run by him but then prevented Gladness from getting the rebounds it came right back to him Kevin O'Neill off the Northwestern bench. He's going to get a technical. Northwestern leading by two, but Michael Lewis going to the line on the technical foul, called, or I should say the, the technical called on Kevin O'Neill. So Luke Recker at the free throw line. Struggling 60% from the free throw line as a team here in Big Ten play. While Wrecker had just two points at Ohio State, he had 28 points in the loss at Michigan. Wrecker, one out of two at the line as Bob Knight looks on. Indiana retains possession, trailing by one. Guyton around the screen, travel. You can see the defensive pressure both teams apply creates the turnovers at the other end. So don't let this one and three start by Indiana fool you. Three other times in Bob Knight teams, they started one and three. They finished 12 and six, 11 and seven, and 10 and eight in Big Ten play. Newman lost the dribble on his own. Indiana basketball, second turnover in a row for Northwestern. A.J. Guyton. Gets Lewis a look. For three. Lewis a good shooter from the outside. Guyton's really used that shot play to make well. He's getting Northwestern off their feet, and that created the opportunity for Lewis. Both teams have shot well from the arc in the early going here tonight. Newman for three. Guyton up high for the rebound. Indiana by two. Wrecker over Eschmeyer. Good stop there. Eschmeyer would have blocked that shot if he took it all the way in. So Wrecker stops and hits the baseline shot. 20-second timeout by Northwestern. Indiana on a run. They were down by two a moment ago. They lead by four now at 18 to 14. This 20-second timeout is brought to you by Spies. Take a look at the Indiana numbers, Laz, and again, overall this season in Big Ten stats on the right and the one and three start reflected in those stats on the right side of the screen. Quite a drop there in Big Ten play. 13 on the points with the uh, free throw percentage way down, field goal percentage way down. Let's watch Luke Recker. He's Indiana's leader as far as scoring. Good smart play here. He sees Eschmeyer coming out. He stops to take the jumper, and he's on track offensively early in this game. Recker with seven points. Indiana leading 18 to 14. Northwestern now has Julian Bonner at the point spot. Bonner, Lepore, Molnar, Ponde, and Eschmeyer. Smart time out there by Kevin O'Neill. He felt the momentum switching, the crowd getting in the game. Eschmeyer looking for room. Lepore, down low to Eschmeyer. What do we have here? Foul coming up. It's going to be on William Gladness, I believe, for a push from behind. Hands out of the back now. 
was the call. He had the hands on the back, we're told. Gladness' job is to stay right behind Eschmeyer, and then he's going to get help. Lewis, Hasten right there, but he got called for the shove. Eschmeyer way out on the floor that time. Northwestern down by four. Hardy on the drive. Hammer blocked by Gladness. 6-8, Gladness got up on that one. They're leaving Hardy alone to take that shot. Luke Wecker on the drive, offensive foul. And that's a big play. You saw the reaction by the Northwestern players. That's two fouls now on record. Same thing that happened to him at Ohio State. Good luck by Gladness at the other end. And there's Northwestern. Good position as bodies fly, but Wrecker picks up his second. Aaron Bolnar in position to take that charge. Seven minutes into this first half. It'll belong to Northwestern. Indiana leading by four. The Hoosiers coming off road losses at Michigan and at Ohio State. Last that Ohio State loss was uh, the worst Indiana has suffered to the Buckeyes in Bob Knight's tenure. Indiana's been in games in the first half. They're only down five if they have at Ohio State. But teams in the Big Ten have had better second halves and won games. Indiana won victory in the Big Ten so far. Molnar to Bonner. The steal by Lewis. Lewis on the drive, forces the action and draws the foul. One of the things this Indiana team's been able to do is use that defensive pressure to force the turnovers and create offense at the other end. Pomade picks up the foul here. Good decisive move by Lewis. Indiana scored 65 points in the second half against San Francisco, but yet they're only averaging 60 points a game <laughs> in Big Ten play. A little difference in the intensity. Exactly. Eschmeyer is on the bench right now for Northwestern along with Newman. They're two of their key players and so it'll be interesting to see how long Kevin McNeil can afford to rest those players midway through this first half. I think he likes to play Eschmeyer about 30 32 minutes. So you got to rest him when you get him back in there. Try to have him run the rest of the half and then get the big break there. Well, what does Northwestern do for offense though while exactly. well, Eschmeyer's out. Indiana plays a more straight up. It's tougher for Northwestern to get a shot. You're not going to get the outside shots you saw the Wildcats get in the first six minutes of the game. Time winding down to the shot clock, down to five. Lepore. Molnar over the back of Haston on the foul. Kevin O'Neill saw the same thing we did, Wayne, and he's bringing Eschmeyer right back in. And Newman as well, and here comes Wink. So three starters back on. Bombade, Bonner, both leave the lineup along with Molnar. Here's the block out. Watch Haston. Molnar comes around, reaches over, gets the foul. Gladness. Wrecker for three. Newman the rebound. Took his own man, Evan Eschmeyer, off that one. <laughs> Wink squares up. Gonna belong to Indiana. Last touch by Tavares Hardy. 11.37 to go in this first half. The Indiana Hoosiers trying to get themselves back on track. Sleety night outside. It's a bad weather night, but uh, we've got a good game brewing in here. Evan Eschmeyer, how good is he? Well, I mentioned, Laz, that he might be the best big man Indiana has faced. You've seen the Hoosiers a lot more than I have this year. Uh, what do you think? He is definitely. Look at the impact he's made at Northwestern. He's now moved up to fifth all-time in Northwestern scoring and ready to move up that list even more before this year's over. Evan Eschmeyer in his sixth year overcame a couple of devastating foot injuries that wiped out campaigns early in his career. Northwestern, much of this was without Wink, without Newman, and without Eschmeyer in the lineup. The Northwestern drought. Indiana has extended its lead to six points. Wrecker. Newman is there for the rebound. Four Indiana players now on Esmeyer. And the 
travel. Second time tonight, Eschmeyer has traveled in the pivot. Calls for the ball. Now he's trying to decide, do I make the move or is one of my teammates open? He feels all the Indiana players there. He should be looking to see who's open. That time he got called for the travel. William Gladness with his second from the field. He has four. Indiana's lead is now eighth biggest advantage for either team tonight. 22 points in the first 10 minutes of this half. That's a lot of points against a Northwestern team. Indiana offensively on tonight. Newman. Eschmeyer. Newman off the mark. A little too strong in that tray attempt. Luke Recker on the run. Guyton traveled. Indiana's trying to pick the pace of this game up. They know Northwestern wants a slower game. Swimming is moving right into their offense and taking some quick shots. Well, you're right about the point total. Indiana, 22 points. We're not even 10 minutes gone by in this first half. Northwestern only gives up 53 points a game overall. Dane Fife in for the first time tonight for Indiana. Had a good freshman year. Tough kid. Plays good defense. And a big shot to send Indiana overtime against Kentucky. Lepore for three. Steve Lepore. That's five trays for Northwestern here tonight. That breaks a long drought. Finally a basket for the Wildcats. They were stuck on 14 forever. Paste a nice looking hook shot. A little bit, a little too strong. Well, Eschmeyer makes those rebounds look too easy. Yeah, Just grabs with one hand. Oh, there's another rebound. Well, he has really worked over the years in the weight room at Northwestern. He was a skinny kid when he first came up, you know? Went to the uh, Pete Newell big man camp in Hawaii over the summer, and they initially started him in the college division. First day, they moved him right to the pro division. Mm -hmm. He was so much better than the college player. Under 10 to go on the shot clock. Wink with the quick release. Michael Lewis up and running. Dane Fife did not continue to break toward the baseline. Had he done that, he might have had an easy backdoor play from Lewis. But as Lewis looks at Bob Knight, he's going to hear, don't throw it where you think the man's going to be. Throw it where he is. is. Okay. There's a good look. 28th <laughs> year for Bob Knight wins 74% of the games he coaches. 47 and 3 against yeah. Northwestern. That's a pretty good record. Oh, yeah. Those three losses, I think you and I did one of them in <laughs> Evanston one night. Yeah. Hardy, a little too strong there. Much too strong, actually. Gladness the rebound. Northwestern really beginning to struggle offensively in this game. Indiana leading by five. Good hands there. Danny Alouche defensively recovered on that play. Kirk Haston. Trey won't go for Dayton. Gladness hustles the board. Traveling there on the big man. See, Esmeyer again out for Northwestern and Wrecker out for Indiana. So you got your two leaders on offense out for both teams and they struggle offensively. Nate Pomaday coming back on for Northwestern and Larry Richardson, number 33 in the lineup for the first time tonight for Indiana. 6 8 2 20. Richardson gives Indiana some good size and strength inside. He may draw the assignment on Eschmeyer when he gets back in the game. Newman, Pomade, the backboard, and then Hardy. And Danny Alouche up front with Aaron Moldar for Northwestern. Boy, the offense much different without Eschmeyer in it. Try to move, move the outside, exactly. Yeah. Perimeter offense. Trying to still get a good shot, but hard to get that inside shot. Time winding down to the shot clock. Newman of force. Over the back, Danny Alouche picks up the foul. His first. Five on the team now. Break of the action here in Indiana. The Hoosiers continue to lead 22 17. Indiana. Hoosiers leading by five, eight minutes straight up to go first half. Freshman impact for Northwestern has been felt not only in this game, but in this season. And take a look at these numbers by these first year standouts. You can see they get a lot of playing time. Hardy, Newman, and Lapore, all new to this Northwestern team. And maybe it's a little tough coming into Assembly Hall your first time. Bob Knight's at the other end of the bench. They're off to a slow start tonight. A.J. Guyton. 
Lewis stayed right with him defensively, but Lewis wide open. Back camp rebound, knocked out of bounds. It will belong to Northwestern. On the floor right now for Indiana, you've got Gladness and Richardson up front, and then basically three guards with Fife and Lewis and A.J. Geit. Brecker especially is probably a guard, but in this lineup this year with Indiana, he's had to play forward, so the teams match up very similar there as far as personnel. Yes, and a foul. Eschmeyer in close. The foul is coming up on uh, Lewis reaching in. Indiana's goal would be to have Eschmeyer get the ball and have him give it up every time, make him throw it out. There you see four Indiana players around Eschmeyer. He finally gets a chance to take a shot and takes advantage of it. Now Rucker back Rucker in the lineup. Right, Indiana needs him in there as they uh, got in their second leading scorer leaves. Evan Eschmeyer, reigning Big Ten Player of the Week. Five double doubles in the last seven games for Eschmeyer. 16.7 rebounds at Illinois on Saturday, and he puts it on the three-point play. His first three points of this game. 13 and a half minutes, Indiana's able to hold him scoreless. Tough shot and a beauty by Luke He has nine. Indiana by four. Help way off Molnar. Richardson doesn't need to guard Molnar when he gets past 15 feet. Okay, a great screen by Eschmeyer. He gets that ball and then backs himself in and gives Newman the wide open three. The lead for Gladness. Mix up by Northwestern there. Lewis saw it and a great timing pass to Gladness. Well, you mentioned to me that Lewis always seems to play his best against Northwestern. Well, certain courses for certain horses, and that's what Michael Lewis is doing here tonight. Lewis, a good heady player. He's a great scorer in high school, but he's relied on more to be a team leader and passer here at Indiana. Coming up on six minutes to go, first half. Newman to Wink. Wink has not gotten nearly a look at the bucket here tonight. Indiana defense is causing some problems for Northwestern. The kid's a little tired. Here's Newman. He gives the old tug on the jersey. He wants to come out. I think when you get two teams, Wayne, that love to play defense, these two teams do, it wears you out physically. You expend a tremendous amount of energy on that end of the floor. Well, much more so, I think, than even when you run up and down because you're bent over in a position that you're not comfortable with and you're moving side to side. When you're up and down the floor, you're used to doing that. Wrecker stopped by Eschmeyer. Pass misdirected for Richardson, and here comes Newman. Knocked away. Good anticipation by Wrecker. Oh, what a move! And Michael Jordan may have retired in Chicago, but he has now retired at Bloomington. That was a little Jordan esque there, wasn't it? Huh? He didn't dunk it. That's the only difference. coming up down low. It's gonna be on Richardson, and it is his first five team fouls on Indiana. Hey, I like the uh, look in Eschmeyer's eye. That's pretty smooth right there. Record takes it right at you and lays it in. In all deference to your Jordan reference, I, I will say this, there's a little more air under MJ than there was under Luke Record, but you're, you know. <laughs> Well, this is only the minor leagues. This is college, all right? You're, you're seeing Jordan after 13 years in the yeah. pro. I mean, it's very refined by the time he gets there. Unfortunately, we're not going to see him again. Now, you know, of course, though, in the summer league play, it was Jordan who called for record to come back in. I want you to guard me because he liked the way record Absolutely. played defense. So uh, that was quite an experience for Luke Record sure out there and Michael Jordan. Sure. Foul is on Dane Fife, his first. Six on the team. Tell you one thing I've noticed, Wayne, a difference about this Northwestern team, the look in Eschmeyer's eye. You know, he hasn't scored well yet, but he wants that ball inside. Mm -hmm. He knows the team needs him to win. He needs to get that ball. Hardy blocked on the play. William Gladness again. Eschmeyer came up with that rebound, and exactly what I talked about. He wants this team to be a winner. Hardy. Tavares Hardy is second from the field. He has four. 
I mentioned Wink hasn't gotten much of a look from the arc. He does have two three point field goals, but boy, most of the shots he's taken have been contested. Indiana back on offense, leading by three. Wrecker for three. Make it a six point advantage. Boy, it has been raining trays here. Same play we saw Northwestern run, where the big man gets the ball and then really clears the pass so his guard can make the three pointer. Eschmeyer clears of the foul line. They won't guard him out there. Wink for three. Ring it up. Very interesting offense. It, it can be effective. When you're making that shot, it drive you crazy. Iowa makes a lot of three-point shots. Helped to win that game at Ohio State last night. Kent McCausland, one of the best in the business. And Wink, one of the best as well. Lepore, here for Northwestern. Lepore on the foul as he blocked that shot from behind. That's his first personal seven on the team shooting foul anyways. We look for a very interesting Big Ten season this year, Wayne. Seven teams in the top 25, and Northwestern, not one of them, and yet they're a two and one in league play. In Ohio State had put a, a great run together to start conference play. They uh, inched into the top 25 this week. And then, of course, as the season goes on, the teams learn to play better together, especially a team like Northwestern, who has a lot of new players. Get ready for the Big Ten tournament in Chicago. Michigan wins it last year. Really a surprise. It could be another surprise this year. No question about it. There's some some very good teams. Well, one thing I've noticed last this early season about the Big Ten, it doesn't matter who you play or where you play them. You better be ready to play or you're not going to win. Well, and that's a real credit. Kevin O'Neill comes in here his second year, and he's got this thing turned in the right direction. Just under four minutes to go, first half. Indiana continues. Behind the back, smooth as can be. Layup brought this crowd to life. Now, I want for his next move, I want to see him switch hands in midair. You know what I mean? On the way to the bucket. Now, we're still <laughs> learning that one. Now, he's not that far along yet. I'll tell you, 16 points in the first half is. Jordan esque. Well, though. I'll tell you, no question. And coming off the uh, two point game at Ohio State, take a look at the work from the arc. There have been some great looks out there because of Indiana's concentration on the inside against Eschmeyer. It's forced the outside shot, but shooting 50%. Very good for Northwestern. Newman lost this one pretty much on his own. And as a result, Indiana gets it back. Newman was an interesting line at uh, Illinois will tell you about he had one assist three turnovers yet Kevin O'Neill mentioned that when he was on the floor as I said earlier Northwestern outscored Illinois by 22 points when he was not on the floor Illinois had a nine point advantage good interior feed Washington couldn't finish this is Newman Danny Alouche. Lepore for three. William Gladys has had a strong first half, especially on the defensive end. A.J. Guyton, a little hesitation and go, draws the foul on Sean Wink. He got the defender out of position. It's a first on Wink, eight on the team. Again, the quick offense by Indiana. They're usually more patient than this, but I think they wanted to speed the tempo of this game up. Guyton had one-on-one -on -one move to the baseline. Not a bad shot. And he draws the foul. Indiana leading by five, and A.J. Guyton puts in on his first. He'll have another. Julian Bonner back into the lineup, and uh, David Newman leaves. He had great games against Northwestern last year. I think players remember that from year to year. The team comes in, hey, I played great against these guys. Michael Lewis and A.J. Guyton, mm -hmm. examples for Indiana. Eschmeyer. Oh. Third time he's traveled down low, and Evan shakes his head. He didn't think so there, but Dan Christman right on the play made the call. At the point there, he's not looking to pass as much as he was earlier. He's looking to score, and he's tough. That basket obviously went. He took a little hop, though. Lewis, oh, beautiful feed record! Lewis and Lewis. They work well together. Lewis and Recker. He knows he's got to keep his eye on his big scores. And that's Guyton and Recker. They've combined for 25 points here in this first half. Foul on Lewis right here. On the loose ball, Lewis picks up his second. Now that's seven on Indiana. Lewis does an agreement. Bob Knight very pleased with the hustle that he's seen from this Indiana team. He 
Didn't seem to be the same intensity at Ohio State on Saturday. There you see the deflection, and now players on the floor. Evan Eschmeyer, as he heads to the free throw line, has been an improved free throw shooter over a year ago, shooting almost 70%. Now he was just 8 of 15 at Illinois the other day, but nonetheless, before that, he had shot pretty well from the line, according to Kevin McNeil. Kevin O'Neill. Eschmeyer misses the front end of the one and one there. Indiana Hoosiers have to be pleased with a 37 point first half thus far. That is terrific. Against Almost the Northwestern, down. against the Northwestern defense, that's especially terrific. Having only 51, they've got 37 already. Good ball movement gets Lepore an open look for three. Eight three-point field goal of the game for Northwestern. That's the second for Steve Lepore. Indiana's only given up 35% from the three-point line of Big Ten play. Nowhere near that today as Northwestern continues to be hot. Off the ball, got a foul coming up, and it's on Michael Lewis, I believe. And Lewis drawing a couple quick fouls there that may put him back on the bench for the rest of this half, 135. Last, that's his third, so Luke Jimenez up off the bench. He'll come on for Michael Lewis, who's played very well overall in this ball game here tonight. Well, Lewis took a little look back at Kevin O'Neill. What would you think of that call, Coach? <laughs> Neil said, I like it. You're on the bench. <laughs> Certainly going to help Kevin's cause, that's for sure. <laughs> Julian Bonner at the free throw line. Bonner a pair of threes early in the ball game. Good block out there by Jimenez, and he was way on the outside, but uh, Lepore tried to get in there. Jimenez stayed right with him, and uh, now he gets a chance to go to the free throw line. Lepore's second personal foul. That's nine on the team. This is tough. Uh, here's a guy, 19 and a half minutes, 18 and a half minutes, sits on the bench, comes in because of foul trouble. Ten seconds in the game, he's at the line with a one and one. Let's see what he does. He hasn't even broken a sweat yet, has he? Not in there, couldn't it? You gotta let those guards off the bench. More often than not, they're gonna hit the free throw even though they're cold. Bombaday back into the lineup, replacing Lepore. It's both great concentration there because he obviously wasn't physically warmed up for that challenge. Eight-point eight lead for Indiana. A minute 30 to go on the half. Party. Turner of the rebound for Indiana. A.J. Guyton sets it up. And once again off the ball. We've got a foul this time on Jimenez, isn't it? It's a back pick. Washington tries to set the back pick for Jimenez. Washington's still moving. And Washington and gets the foul. called for it. It's going to be set when you set that back screen. You know, Lance, that's the biggest thing I'm noticing in the early season of the Big Ten is the officiating the calls off the ball. This is something they talked about in the conference and that they want to legislate a little bit better, and that's some of the play off the ball. And, uh, you know, that's something we've seen the officials carry out uh, very well so far this season. And I think they crack down on the traveling, too. I think yes. sometimes you don't have the Big Ten officials in non-conference games and players get away a little more. You've seen some traveling here today, but uh, these players get used to that. Yep. The three officials, you can watch off the ball a little better. One out of two for Wink at the line. Northwestern has led at halftime every game this year. Indiana, how important is it to lead at halftime? Well, Hoosiers are unbeaten when leading at halftime. Actually, I should say 9-1 this year when leading at halftime, Indiana. Under a minute to go in this first half, they'll reload the shot clock. On the kick, Indiana leading by seven. Another uh, stat of note, Hoosiers 11 and one when scoring 70 or more points. They have almost 40 points right now. Half times are always interesting though as both coaches reflect on what just happened, what changes we're gonna make. You can only anticipate what those might be, but you know Northwestern makes them. Bob and Turner from the outside. 
the floor to make that to accommodate the rebound. And the other thing, Wayne, is how do you end the half? Do you make a shot the buzzer? Maybe it's a three-pointer. Do you make a good defensive play at the end? And Indiana's up seven. That's pretty good. Let's see what Northwestern does their last possession. No shot clock. Wildcats trail by seven. That'll be almost a five-second count there. That would have been a momentum shift for Indiana. The entry to Eschmeyer, he was held by Gladness. Would have been an easy basket. He really had to foul him there to avoid the layup. And, and John, that was a nice feed from the freshman Tavares Hardy. We've seen a couple of real nice little touch feeds inside. It's interesting. When Eschmeyer sets up on the block and calls for the ball, that's usually when he has to pass the ball out. When he gets the ball on the move, that way he's able to score better. That time, he was moving away from the hoop and would have had an easy layup. Leads in his first, he'll have another. Andy has brought some shooters in here. Three-point range, taking Gladness and Washington out. They're looking for a quick inbounds pass, 3.2 seconds, get down there and get a shot here before the buzzer. Northwestern keeps their players away. This is to Indiana's advantage. It's easier for them to get the ball inbounds and up the floor. Eschmeyer makes a pair. Easy inbound to Wrecker. Wrecker for three to end the half. But nonetheless, Luke Wrecker did not miss often in the first half. 16 points from Wrecker, 9 from Michael Lewis to lead Indiana to a 5-point halftime lead over the Northwestern. The three freshmen we highlighted for Northwestern. Not a lot there yet. They'll need to be counted on more in the second half. Teams heading back out of the floor to loosen up for the start of the second half. 39-34, Indiana at the halftime. And I'll tell you what, we have seen a barrage of three-point field goals in this game from Northwestern. See, when Eschmeyer gets double and triple teamed, it's natural for him to look. He's got some better shooters. This time, Lepore hits it from the baseline. Look how far Eschmeyer looks to find that open man, and then makes the good pass. Here's Wink on the outside. He's deadly from out there. And now Bonner, this early in the ball game, as Indiana helps, Bonner wide open for that three. It, it appears apparent he has worked out just that way. Take a look at the three-point shooting. Hard to believe Northwestern will do much better than that in the second half. With that three-point shooting, they still trail by five. That's got to be the concern for Kevin O'Neill. Exactly, and, and both teams really play that same defense. They'll find out who the top two scores are against the opposition and they'll shut them down and make that third, fourth, and fifth score win the ball game. So far, Wrecker has not been able, has not been uh, stopped, and that's why Indiana has the lead. Now look at these uh, starts and finishes by Indiana in the Bob Knight years. You see, these had some tough starts, one and three this year, and look how those teams ended up. 78 team ended up second in the Big Ten after that start. Just when you think they're about to go over the deep end, they right the ship, don't they? <laughs> you were telling me earlier today. That's why he's got 734 <laughs> career victories. That's right. Indiana starts on offense to begin the second half. Guyton and Lewis, the backcourt combination. Lewis playing with three personal fouls on the penetration. Nicely done. That's Michael great. Lewis having a splendid game. Courageous move. Easy to pick up that fourth foul with a drive to the hoop, but Lewis went and did it. Lewis had seven points in the first half. Hardy. Newman able to come up with that deflected pass. Indiana's lead is seven. That uh, goes with his 10 and 14 points he had last year against Northwestern. He wants in that ball game. I'll tell you what, this uh, Tavares Hardy, a pretty impressive youngster. He has six points. He can step out to about 15 feet and take that jumper. Yeah, I talked to the Northwestern folks uh, earlier today, and they saw Hardy play in high school and said, well, maybe a sophomore year looking to a little bit to what we're trying to do. And this kid's come right in, started, playing great. William Blackness from the outside. Well, Joe Meyer, the former head coach at DePaul University, does color commentary on WGN Radio uh, with Dave Ennett up in Chicago, and he was saying he had uh, Hardy figured it completely wrong. He said, I didn't think Hardy uh, contribute much at all, and, and the kid has come on and, and done a tremendous job. So 
Joey had his, took his hat out and off to the kid. Eschmeyer with a hook shot down low. We should see a little more of that. It's only a second field goal in this game, but it counts a minute and a half in the second half. Remember, it took 17 and a half minutes in the first half, now a minute and a half. I think uh, Kevin O'Neill's got this thing figured out. You're going to see more scoring out of Eschmeyer. A.J. Guyton tries to get baseline and ran out of real estate. Western's picked up their defense as well. Indiana's still trying some one-on-one -on -one moves, and I think Northwestern uh, can counteract that with some good team defense. Almost two minutes gone by in the second half. Northwestern trailing by five. Nice feed into Eschmeyer from Hardy. I think they've changed the game plan now. Let's not throw it into Kevin just so he can throw it back out. Let's get <laughs> into him where he can score, and uh, the team very cognizant of that here early in the second half. And the lead only three. A.J. Guyton slipped inside of Wink, had it halfway down, it wouldn't stay. Eschmeyer quickly on the release. Here's Wink. Bonner picked up by Wrecker. Wink clears. Eschmeyer back taps. Hardy saves, but to the wrong side, A.J. Guyton is held on the play by Wink. Good smart play there, as Eschmeyer knew he couldn't get the rebound, but he tapped it outside where he knew some of his teammates were. Guyton made a great play stepping in to steal it. Eschmeyer with the big wingspan. Very strong performer. Goes into it, no dribble, takes it right up. No way to stop that move. Gladys. Nicely done. He's got a nice little jump hook. If you give him time in that middle, he'll get that little three or four foot shot away. Gladys now with 10 points. Hardy just a step outside of his range. Newman on record. in the rebound. That's the shot Indiana wanted Northwestern to take. Not a bad shot, 16 feet straight away. Record. And a foul coming up on Luke Record. I'm not off the bench. He thought Record got the ball as well. But his ball goes against Indiana. Good shot by Record. He go, fights for his own rebound. And there you see the call. Three and a half minutes into the second half. Northwestern trails by five, wait for three. Black is the rebound. Indiana not known for its rebounding. They have rebounded the ball very well tonight. Wrecker the runner at the baseline and Eschmeyer latches on. Still an up-tempo game forced by Indiana and that's what they've tried to do to counteract this good Northwestern defense. Meyer had seven rebounds in the first half, but Indiana out-rebounded Northwestern 18 to 13 in the first half. Off the ball, got a foul coming up, and it's going to be on Bonner. So Bonner picks up the foul. It's his second, second on the team. Early going second half in Bloomington, Northwestern trailing by five. Gold in the first half has two already here in the second half. More decisive down low and looking to the rim more great, in the second half. Great touch for the big guy. And if you watch him play basketball next year, it's going to be in the NBA. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> He's a surefire pick, probably first round, early first round. There are no seven-year seniors in college no, basketball. It hasn't happened yet. <laughs> but uh, Matter of fact, there a... hasn't been an eighth-year senior since Belushi in Animal House. Right? <laughs> <laughs> and he never scored a point, I'll tell you. Not in a basketball Not game. Not in a basketball game. Oh, that's yeah. right. But he was all cafeteria, if <laughs> yes, I recall. he was. A.J. Guyton for the outside. Six quiet points for Guyton, but his running mate Luke Brecker has done much of the damage for Indiana today. That, that's Indiana's change in the locker room. Guyton did not score in the first half. 27 points against Ohio State. They want Guyton to score more in the second half. The record just caught an elbow from Eschmeyer right in the chops. Meanwhile, Eschmeyer delivered to Tavares Hardy, who draws the foul. The record, he's, he's going to bring his case right between the two officials. And, uh, but there it is. He got caught in the innocent play there. Just a casual contact, if you will. And Eschmeyer, the good pass. 
And Hardy able to convert. A.J. Guyton on the foul. Now Hardy looking for the three-point play. Tavares Hardy four points in the second half. Uh, good looking young man here, just a freshman. 6'8, 230. He'll grow into that body some more and become a little stronger. Interesting. Watch Northwest. They come down the floor defense. They put both hands yep. down the floor, get that stance ready. They've done it every time down the floor. Back door, AJ Guyton. Guyton did well to bring that one down, and he didn't have a shot, so he reloaded. And this is what he gets on the other end of the play. Well done. Not a good pass. You don't throw a guy the ball when he can't score with it. There was nothing Guyton could do except make a good play and avoid a turnover. He got it back, though, and made the jump shot. Indiana's lead is six. Oh, look at the players around Eschmeyer. There he is. He's got those sharp elbows. You can see him stick them right out there. Bonner hit two trays in the early going of the ball game, first half. Wrecker and scored with a foul. Yes, and it counts. There's the emotion I talked about. When he makes a big play like that, he lets the crowd know it. He grabs on to Lewis, and this crowd responds to it. David Newman picks it up. There's the play. It's a block, and Wrecker still has the uh, control of his body to get that shot to go off the backboard. So Luke Bricker. Yeah. Only a sophomore. Play. Two more years here at Indiana. Only a sophomore. Mr. Basketball here a few years back in the state. So a, a, a local hero, obviously. Nine point lead for the Hoosiers. Their biggest of the night. Eschmeyer double teamed. Scored in a foul. Boy, what a move. I, I think he felt in the first half there was just too many guys around me, and I don't really know what to do. In the second half, he said, I'm going to put my head down. I'm going to the basket. I'm going to see what happens. I mean, that's a good double team right there. He's a sandwich, and he simply goes right around Gladys. And this is a tough shot. He's a right-handed player, but he clears himself and gets that strong right hand move in. Foul as well. It's a third personal foul on William Gladness. Eschmeyer has 12 points in the game, and Northwestern back to within six. Almost six minutes gone by, second half. A.J. Guyton looking to the hoop again. His third from the field, six second half points, 10 points in the game. He can score off the dribble, or he can hit the uh, jump shot if you leave him open. That's a double threat, tough to uh, deal with. Western showing patience on offense. Will they get something set here. Eschmeyer. Oh, clever feed to Monarch. Very well done. Not only is he a great shooter, but that's a tough interior pass. He used the bounce pass, got it right to Molnar for the shot. Now a timeout. Northwestern. 22nd timeout taken by Kevin O'Neill and company. They have closed within six with 13.47 left to go in the basketball game. This 22nd timeout is brought to you by Finish Line. See Northwestern 2 and 1 in Big Ten play. It's been a long time, 82 83, since they've done that. Two road games in a win. They did that already this year. And they went over a ranked team, 16th ranked Minnesota. It's been five years since they've done that. And the big reason, of course, Evan Eschmeyer. Here he is. Watch. Here's a double team. Great bounce pass. Molnar collects himself and goes up with it. I'll tell you another thing, Wayne, I've noticed. Northwestern over the years, uh, they bring a team in, they get behind, they, they, they fall apart, and now become the 10, 20, 30 point game, and, and they go back to Evanston. I have not seen that in this team. Indiana has made several charges. Northwestern keeps coming back. The game's still at six. Indiana shot 50% in the first half. It's still a ball game right now. Hey, Jake Guyton. In the air and drew the foul, and it's on David Newman, his second personal foul. I'll tell you something. The two things have happened in Northwestern in the early going of this conference season. Kevin O'Neill mentioned uh, the fact that the loss to Iowa was a game they felt they blew, the game they felt they should have won. When they did close the deal at Williams Arena against Minnesota, that seemed to change everything for this team, and they are a much different team. And you saw it shoot around this morning. They have a much different feel about them as they go about their business on the road. Right, that's the mental side of the game, and it's oh so important. And it's been tough. 25 straight times Northwestern's come here to Assembly Hall. 25 straight times they've lost. 
And they, uh, uh, they're right here as close as they've ever been to uh, being still in the ballgame this late at Indiana. Eight point lead for the Hoosiers. Molnar able to collect it. Interesting lineup now as they go with Molnar and Eschmeyer inside. Eschmeyer. 14 points in the game for Eschmeyer, nine of which have come now in the second half. Six point lead, Indiana. Indiana looks for Guyton now. He's the one here in the second half that's shown the scoring ability. Mason out on the floor, nicely done. Can't leave him open. That's 17 feet. He's very comfortable there, even though he's six foot ten. Meyer double down from Haston. The steal by Haston. He triggered it loose. Gladness comes up with it. Michael Lewis on the run. In among the trees. Yes, and a foul. Tough play for Lewis. He's left-handed, but he turned back to his right this time. Still able to get the shot away. And this crowd excited about what they see from their hoop. Great Watch it again. Steal. Great steal at the other end. Here's the double team. Mason comes over, knocks it away. Gladness grabs it. And now Indiana takes it right down off the turnover to try to score. Goes over Molnar and the foul. Foul on Molnar is his second. It is the fifth already on Northwestern in the second half. This 22nd timeout brought to you by Spies. Take a look at Assembly Hall. Kevin O'Neill is trying to figure out what is Bobby Knight when coming off a road loss going back home to Assembly Hall. I said, Kevin, he's 88% anyway. How could he be much better than that? 88%. <laughs> That's, uh, I'll tell you, 237 against Big Ten teams here in Assembly Hall. Well, what a job. You mentioned it before. Northwestern used to come in here, though, and they would fall behind and wilt. They have a lot of mental toughness, and that is re a reflection of their head coach, Kevin O'Neill. This team has bought into O'Neill's program and his beliefs and philosophies, and uh, they will not back down. They may get beat here tonight, but they're not going to back down a fold the way the old Northwestern team used to. A big learning process, and five uh, really top-notch recruits that have committed to Northwestern for next year. Program on the rise. Northwestern now trailing by 11. First time they've been down by double digits. Let's see how they respond to this situation. A good pressure defense. Look how far Indiana's extended that defense. Guiding way out on top on Bonner. And that's the difference with this Indiana team. It's their defense that's caused the turnovers, enabling them to win games this year. Eight to go on the shot clock now. Eschmeyer and Newman on the bench and a turnover for Northwestern. Tough pass there. Long bounce pass. Indiana got away with it. Now Michael Lewis spaces the offense. Eschmeyer up off the Northwestern bench, going to come back on. Kevin O'Neill cannot afford to have Eschmeyer on the bench for any long stretch of time. A minute, minute and a half is all the big guy gets, and he's needed right back in there. Nice pull off. AJ Guyton well, coming alive in the second half. Now record did in the first half, now it's Guyton in the second half. He's come to line. 